48-year-old Doris Tart lives on the bleak shingle beach of the Dungeness in Kent. Whenever the maroon goes up at any time of the day or night, she grabs her bike and sprints along the windswept open road from her home to the lifeboat station half a mile away. For Doris is one of Britain's few surviving lady lifeboat launchers. Doris has been a launcher for 33 years. Her grandfather was one of the survivors of the Dungeness boat, which capsized in the 1890s when one of the crew was drowned. Dungeness is now the last lifeboat station in Britain where the women regularly turn out to help with the launching. They all live within half a mile of the slipway, but when the emergency is sounded, they have to make their way as best they can. Some, like Doris, come by bike. Others try to hitch a ride in a passing car. Some just come running. When they get there, their job is to drag into place dozens of 200 weight timbers, which have to be put down between the end of the slipway and the sea. If the timbers weren't there, the lifeboat would just plough into the shingle and never reach the water. They pride themselves on how quickly they can get the boat into the water, even in 10 or 11 gale force winds. Usually, it takes seven to eight minutes, but the record from maroon to launch is a mere four minutes. Once the boat is in the water, the women go off into one of the huts. For the moment, their job is over. All they have to do now is sit and wait. When the boat is actually out, well, what do you feel when you're sitting here waiting? Well, I'm thankful we've got a boat station at Dungeness to sort of help people in distress. And um, I don't think, well, myself personally, I don't worry very much. I don't like the fog, that's the only thing that really worries me, you know, when they're out in a fog. But the rough weather never bothers me. I don't know about Betty or Joan. But no. Betty, when, when, when you hear about um, disasters with lifeboats and lifeboat men drowning, do, do, do you ever get worried about, about the safety of your own husband, your own family? Well, you do worry a bit, but it's one of those sort of things you think that could never happen to us. It always happens to somebody else, and you don't like to hear about it wherever it happens, but at the same time, you never think it could happen around here. We don't get the rough seas like they do in Scotland, where they've had the last two disasters. But we're lucky like that, you know, not to have such rough seas. And a majority of our calls are in the summer when the weather's not quite as bad. It's the sort of job you do, you enjoy it, you have fun doing it, but it's jolly hard work. I mean, you make fun of it. I mean, if you made hard work of it, well, you wouldn't enjoy it. You've just got to sort of have a laugh in between pulling the woods up and get your breath back and pull some more up or down. <laughs> well, we, get, we get cold while we're waiting, you know, but as soon as the boat comes back in, well, we soon warm up, don't we, Joe? Because yeah. those woods are jolly heavy. Does it ever bother you, the idea of the girls doing heavy work like this? Oh, yeah, it bothers, yeah. I wish, I wish we could be sure that we could always got enough men, but when the boats are fishing, we haven't got enough men. What one or two there is, we want them in the boat. But uh, it's certainly not women's work. The lady launchers do get paid for their trouble. They get a pound for the first two hours and seven and six an hour after that. But it's certainly not the money that brings them out on a cold winter's night. You know, it's a family tradition, isn't it? It's sort of handed down. There's always been women launchers at Dungeness, and I guess when we're finished, there's yeah. be some more to take yeah. our places. At least I hope so. Like their mothers and grandmothers before them, the lady launchers of Dungeness have had their fair share of honours and citations. But for them, the greatest honour of all is that in the last 13 years, they have helped to save 52 lives. <laughs>